got done with the Xbox press conference. This is the first. This is the first. This is the first test. I don't know how I was facing this way. This is the first. The first test for this phone's camera and microphone. The Hololens was fucking crazy. We're doing the badge pickup time. Uh, we're at E3, as you guys can see. Call of Duty. We got some Fallout, some Batman, some Ubisoft, all sorts of stuff. The uh, event's not until tomorrow, yeah. so there's not even. What the hell? Did that guy just scream? My name's Jeff. Yeah. Shouts out to the dude in the Scion. I am at the Twitch booth. We got Swifter. We got these two fuckboys. We're doing some Call of Duty stuff for uh, the race. I'm excited. And uh, this is the view that you get from this. It's a little underwhelming yeah, right being now. up here. It probably looks way better on the screen. We're hidden in the mask. Exactly. What up everybody, we're at E3 early in the, the setup stages. It's day one and we're tired. We just got to actually play some Black Ops 3. Uh, my first time with the hands-on, I wasn't able to go to like the recording session last night. Holy shit, it feels clean. It feels so good. And I know everybody says that every year. We're in the honeymoon phase, but uh, it does feel like Black Ops 2, so I'm really excited for it. Uh, everything, you gotta get your hands on like the movement system to understand it, but check this out. They're still setting up E3. We've got quite a few things that are like Guitar Hero that are just being done. Guitar Hero is going to be super sick. You play in front of a live crowd now, which is pretty damn awesome. Yo, where that Twitch booth at? Where that Twitch booth where at? Twitch booth? Uh, Twitch booth is that way, apparently. Right somewhere over there. But yeah, E3 setting up. Going to be exciting. All right, so I'm with PlayStation for the day. We're heading to play some video games and uh, do some video game stuff. I'm going to be on the Snapchat, so that's going to be pretty cool. And uh, I've got two badges now, apparently. I don't even know if that's possible. Look at these boys interrupting my vlog, and you're not even part of it. No, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Look who I found. I got this pretty lady. I left her at home this morning because she was feeling sick. Are you feeling better now? I got me sick. I we, yes, like, I got uh, her sick, so I'm the scumbag like, uh, here. The, We're waiting to play Destiny's new DLC, and then uh, I haven't played the game in a while, actually, but I still love it. And uh, I'm hoping they do something with Destiny 2, like announce it. They didn't announce anything this year, so hopefully next year maybe we'll see some Destiny 2, but uh, it's a little early for that. So I actually just tried Project Morpheus. That shit was crazy. So. I'm not a big fan of virtual reality. I have like really bad motion sickness issues. And on top of the fact that it wasn't really finished, I was a little bit afraid that I'd kind of puke. But the game that I played, I was like, getting interrogated by this big dude, full HD, very little latency. Like, I was pretty damn shocked. I, I was expecting a little bit like laggy, you know, like really shitty motion tracking. But it was crazy the fact that you could like grab, you, you literally had a gun, you went over, opened up a drawer of a desk, loaded it up, shot it, it was insane.
am in the green room, the dressing room for uh, Evolve that I'm casting right now. And uh, I'm not actually going to get to go to E3 today. I got here at noon and uh, the event goes to 10 p.m. And then immediately after that I have to go to the war gaming party. Um, so I'm actually not going to get to see the show floor today, which kind of sucks because I feel like I haven't walked around and seen a lot. I've been really busy this E3 doing uh, doing stuff with Evolved or doing stuff with PlayStation, which is awesome and a really good thing and I'm really excited about it. It's just, I feel like I'm lacking a lot of vlog content, you know? So I'm kind of bummed, but Thursday, Thursday hopefully, I will be able to get onto the show floor. Oh shit, that's more zoomed in than I thought. Day three, we're excited. First time that I get to see the expo hall, actually. Yeah, it's my third day, and I'm yeah. gonna be able to play something and maybe not look like I'm naked. I'm wearing clothes. Well. She's not She's not wearing clothes, we're naked in here. No, I haven't been on the expo hall enough yet, so I'm excited to actually see the game. What is up guys, I'm in the Xbox booth. We are, we are way up in the broadcast booth. And uh, we just got done playing with the HoloLens as well as Halo. The HoloLens, I said it what I said with the uh, Project Morpheus on PlayStation. Virtual reality is actually like, it's not just a gimmick anymore. Like people have actually decided to figure out what they can do with the technology. So you, you basically, you put this thing on, on the HoloLens and it's just like wearing a pair of sunglasses and boop, like a heads up display pops up and you walk towards it. It's fucking crazy. So uh, the motion tracking was really good. Uh, and same with Morpheus, like I was blown away by both them so the division's gonna be fucking crazy on PC it's I mean I'm not a big fan of doing like MMOs or anything like that on console and I want the game to look amazing that's why I have such a good PC but holy shit like that the, it's basically like it's like H1Z1 Sonya said good idea it's like H1Z1 where you're like eh, I don't know if you're friendly or not or I have to shoot you or kill you on site when you're extracting so I think it's gonna be fun with a group of friends somebody please fix me I think I'm sick <laughs> Get it? Sick!